Review really can't hurt. It's possible. Definitely possible. Okay, so yesterday we started these and we worked on the first six. Now, why do we know that we need to balance chemical equations? Well, why, why, why is there this need to balance? How do we know how we can balance? What do you think, Bella? Um, Remember that everything that you say is picked up on, on the video, right? Yeah. You want to make sure you're on task. That there was something Oh, the uh, oh. motion of that. Law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass. Yes. The law of conservation of mass. And, and what was my shortened paraphrase of that? What 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 did this mean to us? Um. Um, okay, the, the method there, there was a close, it, it only works really within the closed system, okay? That if I don't have a closed system, if I don't have a reaction happening in a bubble, I can lose atoms to the air, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if I don't, if I have a closed system, what happens? What I start with, I So the same atoms that were present at the start are the same atoms that are present at the end, but they've been rearranged. Okay? They, they have a new formation. Like a new formation out in the field, a new formation for the cheerleading move. But all the same elements are present and in the same number. We don't suddenly change in number. Okay? Law of conservation of mass says so. What are the things that are on the left hand side? Those are known as reactants. This is a reactant. That's a reactant. What's on the right hand side? Products. Products. What does this mean right here? What does that arrow mean? Uh, it's it's like kind of like an equal. Yeah. Yield. It's better like yield or mm -hmm. form. So these reactants yield or form this product. Are you calling yield? Yield. Y I E L D. Y E Y I E L D yield. Okay, which really means it forms. Okay, so we have reactants that form products. And we know this because we have things that will come into contact with each other and react to one another and it produces something new. What were these little numbers? Subscripts. 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 And what do the subscripts do? Tells us a number of atoms for the element that's just before it. So like NH3, that 3 applies just to the H, not to the N. If I needed it to apply to both, if there was a need for it, you would be in the middle. No, it wouldn't be in the middle. You would have oh, parentheses. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have parentheses to say, hey, that three applies to both. Okay? Now, what happens if I put a number in front? Like, I have the number two. Coefficient. That's a coefficient. Yeah. Coefficients are the big numbers, and what do they change? The number of molecules. Fabulous. So, Christian, okay, how many nitrogen do I have now? Um, how 
many nitrogen atoms? Five. No? Nope. Mm -hmm. I don't add oh, them together. Ten. There's three nitrogen. I have two molecules of NH3. So that's going to be like... Oh, uh, there's... Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's why I drew this out, that this was one of the NH3s. This is another NH3. Okay? So if it was just NH3 and it didn't have a coefficient, it would just be one of them. I put two in front. I have two of those molecules now. And so that multiplies how many N's I have and how many H's I have. It'd be the same thing if I put numbers in front of here too. I would have right now here what I have is H and I have N. So right now this isn't balanced, right? Like I can see I have two, here I had six. Here I have two, there I have two. Well that sounds okay. But somehow the H's aren't balanced. So I gotta figure out how to do that, okay? And so the best way, let's, let's move these up a little closer, okay? Right now on this side, I have two N's. I have two H's. Would we agree? Yeah. And then on this side, we have Right now, two N's and I have six H's. The N's are balanced on either side of the arrow, but the H's aren't. How can I balance that out, Texas? You can multiply the hydrogen with two atoms. If I multiply this by three, three times two is it's now six. six. So this is three times two H's is six. Two N's, two N's, six H's, six H's. I have the same atoms on both sides. So that in the end, this is what you have to have on your paper. It's okay if you have all the other stuff to help you keep track. Oh, sorry. I'm if we were doing this on paper, right? Mm -hmm. But this is our final answer. One and three and two. Do I have to write the one? No. Okay? And it's okay to not include the one, but I include the one just to say, check, I did it. I know that there's only one of this molecule. But quite often when people write this out, they would just write it like this. That's what that equation would look like. Because just like we don't write one as a subscript, 
it's common to not write the one as a coefficient. But putting the one in there can be helpful for you to keep track of things. So anytime you're dealing with balancing, I would write the ones. If I just had to just write the equation and I didn't have to worry about the balancing because I already know it's balanced, you can write it like that. Okay? So we did one yesterday which of course we managed to miss our recording. Okay, what numbers do we have for two? Uh, now three, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a shorter way. Two, three, okay, three, one, I have one K, one K. One AL, one AL. Well, one CL3, oh sorry, two, three CL3, only one CL3. So, so these ones are not balanced. So right. times this by what? Three. If I do that, now I have three Ks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do I need to do here? Do the same thing to the other side. Okay. If I have three Ks, three Ks. I have AL, AL. One. I have CL3, three. CLs. You see how this starts to come together suddenly? Yes. Now, if we still need to do this method, where we go K and AL and CL, this confuses you when we do this? Then do the other. It doesn't matter to me which method you use. As long as we are keeping count of how many atoms are here, how many atoms are there, do I have the right number of each on both sides? And the only way that I can change it, okay, the only way that I can change it, okay, is by adding coefficients of front. And that multiplies, it, it says, oh, instead of one of those molecules, make that two. And then I have to check to see how many atoms do I have again. Okay? So here we multiply by three. Here we multiply by three. And then we got it all balanced out. Okay? So it is perfectly okay to do this method. It's perfectly okay to do what I'm about to do once again for number three, where we go, okay, PB, PB. Well, that seems okay so far. O2, O, and I have another two. So I have three O's on this side, only two on this side. How do I get it to equal when I have two and I have three? Multiply. I need that lowest common multiple, right? Yes. yes. What's the lowest common multiple, multiple of those? Two. Why? Wait. Mm -hmm. Lowest common two. multiple of uh, two and three two. is two. Six. 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 Yeah. Oh. Right? Because uh -huh. yes. I can go two, three, four. That's uh, yeah. Sorry, that's right. Four, six, six. Oh, wait. Okay. So I need to get six oxygen. I think on both mm -hmm. sides. How can I get six here? Multiply, multiply by three. three. Yeah. Okay. If I have three here, what does that mean for this? You have to have three there too. I need a three there too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm, I'm seeing a problem still. What? Oh, well, uh, it's supposed to be so. two, two, one. Yeah. I agree. Let, let's work out why it's not working the way that we're trying to do it right now. So we know that we're supposed to have two, two, one. Hmm. Maybe worrying about that oxygen was leading us astray. Oh yeah, that oh, yeah, one said don't worry about the oxygen. Yeah, last. Yeah, last I agree. Quite often we're going to have to worry about the oxygen last. Mm -hmm. 
as far as balancing that out. And the whole, okay. This might be the wrong one to look at, but we know that this is balanced from yesterday. If we have this, we have two lead, we have four oxygen, and here I have two lead, and I have two plus two oxygen. Would we agree? Yes. And why? Anytime where we're dealing with oxygen, it tends to show up in multiple places, and so yes, we're always going to deal with that last. Okay. Now, one thing we haven't talked about yet is the types of chemical reactions. Okay. We have things known as synthesis, where things get put together, like A plus B will now form a new thing called AB. It makes one product. Okay? We also have decomposition. Breaks down. It breaks it down. So I might start with AB, but it's going to break apart into A and B. Okay? So I have one reactant when we're dealing with decomposition. So I look for one product for synthesis. Decomposition, I'm looking for one reactant. Now we also have replacement reactions, which could be one of two ways. Okay? We can have a replacement reaction where we have like A plus B, C forms A, B plus C. We're just one thing switches a place. Okay? We can also, this is a single replacement. And the double replacement is when if I have A, B plus C, D, I get A, C plus B, D. And so these are a lot of the basic ones that you've seen. Replacement, where we have things switching. Decomposition, where we have one thing that breaks apart. Synthesis, we have everything forming one thing. What does it mean, two reactions? What? No. Well, it's, it is one thing, just one chemical formula that breaks apart. Oh. Okay. And then we also have something known as combustion. What's another word for combustion? Uh, if you think of combustion, you think of what? Destroying. Destroying. Something like exploding. exploding. It's yeah. fire. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have a reactant. Okay. A reactant that when it comes into contact with some oxygen, it's going to form carbon dioxide and water and heat along with whatever else. That whenever I have combustion, I need oxygen. Okay, this one needs oxygen as a reactant and it will always form CO2, carbon dioxide and water. Always. Okay? Whenever we have combustion. So what kind of reaction does number one look like? Okay, so number one is synthesis. What's number two? 
Uh, no no replacement. replacement. What kind of replacement? Double. Single or double? Double. Single. Wait. Oh. Single. 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 Yeah. Uh, single. Yeah. Single. Yeah. Single. Single. Replacement. Yeah. Okay. Synthesis is like a recipe. It's like baking a cake. I put in the eggs, I put in the butter, I put in the flour, I put in the sugar, I mix it all together, I get a cake. Honestly, that's what I'm always thinking of is, am I putting stuff together to get one thing? And so rather than calling it synthesis in my head to begin with, I'm actually thinking of the analogies. Single replacement, that, that, that's that, you know, we, we have that, that single person, okay, and we have the couple. But, you know, the, the couple's walking past the single, and suddenly we get a new date. You know, AL, actually, sorry, CL has left AL behind and has now formed a couple with K. Wow. Mm -hmm. It, that, that's, that's normal teenage behavior, is it not? I don't know. Oh, yeah. You don't think so? Yeah. I don't know, it seems pretty normal to me. Is, is that the way it should be? Perhaps not, but it, it happens more often than we, we care to admit. Okay? How about this one? How about this one? What is this? No. It, it does involve oxygen, but oxygen isn't on its own to begin with as a reactant, and it's not producing any carbon dioxide. And it's not producing any water. This is what? This is not combustion. No. It's replacement. Why is it no? We start with decomposition. Decomposition. I know that. Decomposition. How do we know that? Because it's one thing break apart. Okay? This is like going to McDonald's. And you tell them to hold the pickle. And they did not hold the pickle. And I have to open up my you know, open up my sandwich, take out the pickle, take out what you know the extra onions I didn't want. I have to decompose it before I can eat it. Okay? So we have holes of pickle, we have our new couple, and we have bacon and cake. Wait, what does that say at the bottom for combustion? It says it forms carbon dioxide, forms CO2 and H2O. Forms carbon dioxide, forms water. Okay. Oh, I really didn't want to get rid of that. I'll put that back. So synthesis, we said A plus B forms C. We have one product. We said A plus B equals A B. Oh, sorry, you're right, A B. Thank you for catching that. I make mistakes like that very frequently. You guys know that. Okay, let's look at four, five, six. Okay, from yesterday, HG, HG, hmm, looks fine. O, O, two, two, two. two, needs a two. So now I have two O, two O. Now I have two HG, need two HG. I put a one in front, we're good. What kind of reaction? Oh, decomposition. 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 Hold the pickle. They gave me the burger with the pickle. I need to take the pickle up. We're going to break it apart. Okay? Number five. Okay, we, we see that it's synthesis because we have one product. How do we balance this? AL, AL. Well, I have two ALs, one AL, put a two in front. Okay, if I put a 
two in front of here. How do I get the O's? Oh no, that's not gonna work. O's don't balance. So let's try it this way. Obviously I can't just put a two in, well, could I put a two in front? Let's try. If I put a two in front now, I have four ALs. Four AL. Two times three is six. How do I get this to be six? So four and three and two. Okay, how about this one? One, five, three, four, I think. One, five, three, four? I probably got that wrong, not from that. Okay, so from yesterday, I'm hearing one, five, three, four. Let's check to see if that's correct. Three carbon, three carbon. Eight hydrogen, four times two is eight hydrogen. How many oxygen? Five times two is 10. Do we have 10 over here? I have three times two and four times one. So three times two, four times one, I don't know why that's I six, that's four. We did it together. We did it together. Oh. We did. It was the last one we did together. What kind of reaction is this? Um, it's combustion. This is combustion. I combine oxygen gas with this and it produces carbon dioxide and water. This is when we have flame. Okay, mind blown. Okay, so let's work on some new ones. Number seven. Oh, uh, yep, too high. Three, one, two, I think. Three, one, two, you think? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Three, one, two is what Harmony's saying. Let's check to see whether or not she did the good work. I have six H's and I have two N's. How many H's do I have? Two times three. I have two times three H's, which is six. And I have two times N. So that's two. Do I have two N's and six H's? No, yes. it's two. What? Sure. I got it. Uh, I thought you were the one that told me this. No. Oh, wait, actually, I did get it right. Never mind. I did. She says with confidence. Yes. Is it's she right, right or is she wrong? She is right. Oh, she's right. Do we agree she's, she's, that she's wrong? No, no. Wait, she's right. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Three times two is six. Okay, one times two is two. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. Two ends, six H's. We have the same number. What kind of reaction is it? Um, <laughs> it's a, it's a, Replacement. Um, yeah. Look, one product. One product. One product. We baked the cake. Okay, what kind of reaction is this one? Number eight. Number eight is. I have this and I have this, this. I have this, this, and I have this. I think I should start off with this aluminum oxide. Okay? So, right now here, I have two ALs and three oxygen. Let's 
maybe start trying to balance with using this aluminum. Okay? So if I have two here, how can I get the right number over here? Two. Okay? Now if I do that, now I have two and I have two. How many copper? How many copper? How many oxygen? How many oxygen? So right now, copper looks balanced. Does oxygen look balanced? No. So what can I do? I have three here. How can I make a match? Three. Three. Okay. So aluminum's balanced. Copper's balanced. Is oxygen balanced? No. Wait. Oxygen oh, sorry. Balanced. Oxygen's balanced. Is copper balanced? No. So how do I balance that? Multiply. Three where? Three in front of the copper. Two aluminum, two aluminum. Three copper, three copper. Three oxygen, three oxygen. We're good. Does it get easier? It does. Is it easy? No. It doesn't, and it will get worse. So you will have harder problems, not for me necessarily, but you can have harder problems as you do this later on in high school. Okay? Are we good for six, seven, eight? Yes. yes. Christian. Okay. If you need to move your chair so you can see better, do so. Okay, let's look at Nine and ten. Okay. What kind of reaction do we have? Oh, we have. For number uh, nine. For number six, nine. Six. That is no. no. Yeah. That is combustion. No, no it is synthesis. Oh. Combustion was oxygen. Oh. One oh. reactant. Oh. 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 Oh, sorry, one, not one reactor, one product. So one product. Is decomposition. Decomposition. No. 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 One product. Oh, so this is, that's what I said. Replacement. Well, you, you kept changing it. Oh. I didn't say right or wrong. I didn't say right or wrong. I just, I just waited until we came to a consensus, hopefully. Synthesis. Okay, we've got to balance it. Um, I like starting with the things that aren't H's or O's because those are things that kind of get crazy, okay? Let's start with the K. 2K, 1. I need to put a 2 in front, I'm hearing. Okay, if I do that, now I have 2 and 2. But let's look at this O and the H's. So right now, I have O. One O, and I have two H's, and I have one O. And then here I have how many O's? Two. Two O's, and how many H's? One H. Oh no. 